hi guys welcome or welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be doing a reading vlog i actually am doing a 24 hour readathon but i'm doing it a little bit different than like actually reading for 24 hours straight i'm going to be splitting it up a few different times and ways i just want to try to get to at least 24 hours in the next few days i feel like i've been on my phone so much recently instead of actually like taking the time to read so i want to see how much i can actually like push myself to read and how quickly i can get in the 24 hours whether that's within like two days three days the only reason i'm doing it this way i would love to do like the 24 hours in a row but I just like I have work and I have stuff going on so I can't do like the full 24 hours I don't have two free days where I can just not do anything So yeah, I'm going to try to get at least I want to say eight hours in today I don't know if that's necessarily gonna happen But eight hours would be ideal today and then like however many tomorrow and then Thursday I don't have anything going on so I can try to get it like finish it up then so either way i'm gonna get up to 24 hours and i'm gonna be stopping the clock when i'm not reading yeah i love these types of videos i think they're super fun a good way to knock off some books off of my tbr for the month right now i am currently reading powerless it is the third book in the chestnut spring series and i'm reading it on my kindle it is on kindle unlimited if you are curious the full series is on there it is like a found family small town they're all they all live on like this ranch and and there's a bunch of brothers, there's a cousin. So the one I'm reading right now, Powerless, tells a story about Jasper and Sloane. So Jasper is kind of like a, he's like a brother, but not a biological brother. He has grown up in the family of the Eaton brothers and or eaton family sloan is the eaton brothers cousin they've grown up together they're like very very close best friends i'm about two-thirds of the way into the story so i'm honestly almost done with it but in the beginning sloan is about to get married this guy is like not a very good person and jasper has never liked him since they've been engaged before the wedding happens sloan finds out that this guy has cheated on her and so she kind of runs away with jasper and just wants to escape life he is a hockey player she is a figure skater so they're in very similar realms they are both very good at what they do that is the premise of the story yeah a lot has happened so far obviously if you don't know it's a romance series so there is a romance in this book i am enjoying it it is very very spicy uh, i feel like it's a lot spicier than the other two books that i've read so far in the series i do like a little bit but when it gets to be too much that's when i'm kind of like okay and this book it is like dragged on for like 15 pages <laughs> those are my thoughts so far i'm gonna go ahead and finish up this book and i will start my timer i am so excited and yeah i will keep you guys updated on my thoughts and feelings on the book update on the book i just finished powerless on my kindle our timer is at 21 hours and 17 minutes left so that took me about two hours and 45 ish minutes if we're getting very specific but yeah i oh i have very mixed feelings about it the first half of the book was pretty good i got to a point like i said where it was very spicy like I'm not joking you guys there was a full like 40 50 pages where it was straight spice scenes and i'm not saying i don't like it at all but that gets to a point where it's like okay <laughs> this is a lot and that's just kind of where i was at with it so the last 20 percent of the book is where i actually really started to like it before that it was probably sitting at like a three star 
um, maybe three and a half. After that, I started to like it a little bit more, the last 20-ish percent. I really didn't mind the, there's always like a third act breakup in a romance book. And this one I actually did not mind. I felt like it was done so smoothly. There wasn't anything that was like so absurdly out of left field that caused the third act breakup. The ending was really cute. I really liked that part. I'm gonna rate all the books at the end of this video. So if you are curious to know like my ratings and everything, I'll be sharing that at the end. I only have two more books left to go in this series, so I'm excited to finish those at some point. We have to pick our next read. I also am gonna go work out in like 45 minutes, so I'm either going to listen to the book that I pick out on audiobook, or I'm going to pick a different book on Spotify to listen to. Let's go look at my TBR for April and see which book I want to read next. All right, so here are my options. We have The Love Wager, Yours Truly, Things You Save in a Fire, Before We Were Strangers, and Ugly Love. These are literally all romance books. So I love that for me. I ended up having a bunch of TBR prompts that all gave me romance. So I really would like to start reading this one, but I'm kind of in the mood for a fantasy. And the only fantasy I have on my TBR for April is A Court of Mist and Fury, the second book in the Avatar series. So, oh my gosh, it's just so long. <laughs> Ugh, should I do it? I don't know which one should I do, guys. The Love Wager or this one? I think I'm going to go with The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. I started reading the first few pages of Akamoff. And <laughs> I was honestly so confused. I was like, wait, I need to go back and re-read the last few pages of Akatar because I kind of forgot. I mean, I know how it ended, but I also forgot like the details of it. So I need to go back and read that. But I honestly will most likely start it in this video. It's just not going to be yet. So I know this one's going to be like really quick to read. And I've heard so many good things about this book. This is a fake dating trope. Let's go ahead and start the love wager. <laughs> on the book i am about 30 pages into the book so far so far there's two main characters hallie and jack hallie is bartending a wedding and the wedding is for jack's sister and her husband so far they have had a one night stand together so that's how the story starts off right after that hallie's best friend makes her get onto a dating app and then jack's sister puts him onto a dating app i'm assuming it's gonna be the same dating app and they're gonna find each other on a dating app <laughs> so yeah that's where the story's at right now but i'm gonna go work out and then i have a volleyball so i'm gonna listen to my audiobook but yeah, i will check back in with you guys tonight i'm going to continue my timer while i'm reading but if i'm not reading i'm going to stop it so went to walk outside it's absolutely downpouring the one time i wanted to go work out and go to the gym it's downpouring and i have to walk to the gym i would have been drenched by the time i got there so i have to leave for volleyball in like 45 minutes so i'm just gonna wait it out i guess and continue reading my book <laughs> that's so annoying though i should have gone earlier okay i'm gonna continue my book oh my god <laughs> okay hi guys it is later in the day much later it's almost 10 o'clock at night i wanted to kind of update you on where i'm at with reading you guys saw i tried to go to the gym but it was downpouring so i just ended up chilling at my apartment before i had to leave for volleyball and i was listening to the audiobook for things you save in a fire by Catherine center i have that on my tbr for the month of april so i decided to start that and let me see how far i got into it so i had a credit on audible i'm on chapter eight i'm on chapter eight out of 33 so far the book is about sorry i know i'm kind of explaining two different books at once but 
The book so far is about this girl, I don't even know her name, but she is a firefighter. She has just done something publicly that has caused her to lose her job. And her mom actually has, I think glaucoma is what she has. She has asked the main character to come and stay with her and be with her for a year. She doesn't really have a good relationship with her mom, so she doesn't want to, but since she has just gotten let go from this job, she's like, I might as well just transfer to this other location in a different state. There's like this big conflict out of it because most fire departments don't like having a girl on their fire, like it's not normal to have a girl on their fire department which is so messed up, but yeah, she ends up getting the job because they're really desperate, I guess. That's kind of where I'm at so far in the book. I really like the way that it's narrated. Each character has a different voice, so it's a lot easier to discern between like the different characters. And I feel like that's not very common in an audiobook, at least the ones that I've listened to. So I like that. I don't know if that's because it's on Audible and I normally listen to Spotify, but Anyways, I like that and so far I really enjoy the book. It's very interesting. Um, if you don't know, it's like a women's literary fiction contemporary romance. But update on the timer, I'm at 19 hours and one minute. So honestly, I'll probably read for like an hour tonight. Um, I'm gonna continue with The Love Wager. Yeah, I'm gonna bop back and forth between both of those, between like audiobook and physical book, depending on if I like doing something or not. But yeah, I am enjoying both of them at the moment, so good updates. I guess I will talk to you guys in the morning or whenever I continue reading again. <laughs> also you guys, my subscriber count is 9,999 subscribers. <laughs> I'm so close to hitting 10,000. This is literally insane. Oh, it's just so crazy. Anyways, I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much. By the time this video is up, I will have hit it, but it's just so crazy. I'm so grateful for all of you. Like, I literally am gonna cry. <laughs> I just feel so lucky, but. <laughs>
writing is not that great but i wanted to give an update on the book so i'm on page 179 chapter 19 so i read a little over 100 pages and i believe there's like 300 pages in the book so i have a little over 100 pages left to go i am really really liking it at this point uh, i was feeling a little bit indifferent about it like when we got to the middle part but things have kind of taken a turn and i don't know i'm just really enjoying it now there is a lot of like tension that is between the two main characters that's something that i love in romance books when there's like build up to like a love story instead of it just being like insta love where there's no foundation to it they like actually have built a relationship built a friendship yeah, i'm really really enjoying it and i'm excited to see what happens so i will keep you guys updated on when i finish it and let you know my thoughts Alrighty guys, I wanted to give an update of where I'm at is clearly the next day. I don't know if I told you guys I finished The Love Wager last night. I, ugh. I have very indifferent feelings about it. I liked a lot of parts of it. I thought it was a very cute, like, romance novel. There was just some things that frustrated me about the main character, so that's what made me not like it a ton especially towards the end we were getting like three quarters into the way and i was like oh my gosh this could be like a really high rated book and then as the story finished out i i don't know i just i just feel like the main female character just did not live up to the expectations she just kind of disappointed me so that's why i didn't read it super highly i don't know if i said this but i will let you guys know my ratings of all the books that i've read at the end of this video so stick to the end for that but i also finished things you save in a fire this morning so i i finished listening to the audiobook of this i might have said this before but i absolutely loved the audiobook of this i thought that it was i literally felt like i was listening to a movie because we got so much inner monologue of the main character i just felt like it was written super well there were so many good life lessons to take away from this book i think that's why it's more of a like contemporary romance literary women's fiction novel just because there are so many takeaways and life lessons so yeah this talked a lot about like forgiveness and it also discusses grief a little bit so that is kind of a trigger warning but overall i really really like this book and i'm excited to read more of katherine center's books Alrighty, i think the last book of this video is going to be the second book in the akatar series a court of mist and fury yeah i read the first book about a month ago so i think it's about time that i get into the second one i actually had to look up like all the specifics of the first book before i dive into this i wanted to go back and make sure that i fully understood what had happened in the first book so i just did that and it got me excited to read the second one i am going to start this today i'm going up to hang out with my boyfriend for the weekend so i'm not sure how much i'm going to film but on my timer i have six hours and 49 minutes left i honestly don't even think that i'll finish this book within that time but I will try to like take clips and just keep you guys updated on the time and everything. I'm so excited to get into this though. so i wanted to give an update on the book my timer is at almost exactly three hours i have three hours left but i just got to chapter 13 page 126 and i feel like the story started off pretty slow like it picked up from how the last book ended obviously but it was a pretty slow like build up i feel like now we're getting to the point where it's actually picking up a lot and something pretty drastic just happened and i just know that i'm gonna love this book and the path that it's taking so much more than what i liked the first book i honestly was not a huge fan of the first book i only gave it i think i gave it like three and a half stars i think it was a good start and kind of like premise for how the series is gonna go especially the ending of it but yeah i already know i'm gonna like this book so much more i feel like a lot of people have that same opinion about the series Everyone says that the second book is the best. Now I see why because 
there is a character that I'm pretty sure is going to be like one of the main characters in this book and I liked that character a lot more in the first book. They weren't really in the first book that much. I am excited to continue reading it. I'm just having a really good time. Like I feel like fantasy can be so hard for me to like grasp and I like this book because it doesn't have like politics are a part of it but as of right now it's not a ton like i feel like there was more politics in the first book and this book is more about like farah the main character and her character development if that makes sense at least so far those are my thoughts i am like not even a quarter into the book i'm 20 percent <laughs> it's been a while since i checked in with you this video has been going on for so long and I need to finally end it. But I did finish my 24 hours of reading. The goal was to basically see how many books I could finish in the 24 hour time span. I feel like I did not do that good, but let's just go ahead and start from the top. So the book that I was reading when I first started this video was Powerless. This is by Elsie Silver. Again, third book in the Chestnut Spring series. I think I was about halfway done with this book when I first started the video. I don't remember if I gave you guys my thoughts on it. I thought it was good. It wasn't anything spectacular. I think I gave it four stars. I feel like now I would probably give it like 3.75 just because I haven't really thought about it since i finished it there was a lot of spice which is something that i don't love i i don't mind it but i feel like the spice just went on for pages and pages and pages i like i don't know it was a lot i am really excited to continue the series i don't really know what else to say it was a good book not my favorite of the series that's for sure so then i was listening to the audiobook of things you save in a fire by katherine center let me i don't even know like the thoughts i have in this book i feel like i read so many books so quick that they're all just blending together at this point but let me see what i wrote for this one so some of the notes that i have are it talks about forgiveness forgiveness is like one of the main what is that called themes of the story is that what it's called? One of the main takeaways, I feel like, was forgiveness in this book. There's a lot of good life lessons. I feel like Catherine Center is known for that. This is the first book I've read of hers, but from what I've heard from other people is that she does have, like, her books are more contemporary romance, like literary fiction, women's fiction. So I kind of was expecting that going into this, but I did like how it talked about that. The story discusses a lot about healthcare. The main character is a firefighter and she's working in the environment of that. Like that's what the whole book is kind of centered around. So you do get a lot of that. So if that's something that you don't really like, then you might not like this book. I, I just did not like the way it ended. I don't want to give anything away, but I was not really a fan of the ending. But overall, I thought that it was still really cute. And like I said, had some good quotes to it even with listening like i feel like there was a lot of good quotes that came from it i gave this 4.25 stars so overall i did like it i am excited to get into more of her books i almost did buy the bodyguard by her today at the bookstore but i didn't because i'm pretty sure it's on kindle unlimited so this book i was kind of reading at the same time i was reading the love wager by lynn painter the only book I've read by Lynn Painter was Better Than the Movies, and that is a YA book. This is an adult romance. I feel like every time I heard about this book, I've only heard good things. So going into it, I had pretty high expectations. I really did enjoy this book. I thought that I was going to rate it a lot higher than I did. For some reason, towards the end, there was just some things that I... Just did not really enjoy like where the story was going. I literally read this like two weeks ago, not even, and I am already forgetting what happened. So I love that for me, but let's go through my notes. I said the tension was so good and I feel like that's why I was like, okay, this could be like a really good book. I said it was a little cheesy at times, but still so cute. I feel like that's just Lynn Painter's writing in general because I do remember better than the movies being a little bit cheesy. It wasn't anything really bad but i said i easily guessed the third act conflict which i feel like is probably why my rating went down oh yeah now i'm remembering <laughs> i'm gonna skip over what i put because it's definitely spoilers but i also said a lot of the time it seemed purely physical and there was so much potential for more so yeah, I in the end, I did not like the way that the main character handled things. And I don't want to elaborate on that because I don't want to give anything away. But yeah, there were some things that the main character did that frustrated me. So that is why I only rated this 3.75 stars. But I don't know because I did enjoy this one for a good amount of it until the end. I don't know. That's why I like rating books is so hard obviously i felt like a 3.75 in the moment so <laughs> and then the last book that i started in this video was a court of mist and fury this is the second book in the akatar series i'm not gonna lie 
I'm not that far in. I'm probably to about here. I don't have a bookmark because I'm reading it on my Kindle, but I'm about 185 pages in. I am loving this book so far. There is a character in it that is in this so much more than the first one, and this one we're seeing a lot more of that character, and I'm loving it. Yeah, I still have so much to go. The book is 600 pages long and i'm like barely 200 pages in so obviously i still have a long ways to go i think i said earlier that i feel like it wasn't super like there wasn't anything super confusing about it but i feel like the last the last 20 pages have been really confusing for me to understand because they were doing a lot of explaining of this character's background and like family growing up and i just i felt very confusing but i think i grasped it i was like oh i might have to go back and reread this to actually understand but i feel like i kind of understood it so yeah i take back what i said earlier in the video though about it not being as confusing because i feel like there are parts where it is but i think they're gonna get that in any fantasy so those were the four books that i read in this video i feel like i could have done better but this this video was just so spanned out that sometimes my timer was resetting i had to like try to guess or figure out where i left off at like where my timer left off at so i definitely may have skipped sometime you know i tried my best <laughs> i think that is everything for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed it was super fun i got through like four books in the first half of the month which is really good for me so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys <laughs>